Hello, welcome to another edition of Northern Summoner Beer Reviews with your host, Jonathan Brown. Now, I have been living up north for <coughs> about over 10 years now and there is a north-south divide. Doesn't matter what the government say, I've lived on both sides of the fence and I can tell you boys and girls out there, there definitely is a north-south divide. Now the beer I've got now has got a north-south divide about it as well because I know loads of people who like it in the south but in the north I don't know anybody who likes it. I don't know whether or not it's to do with it's to do with London or, or whatever but there's no one likes it in the north apart from me. <laughs> I think I must be the only one. So... We have got a Fuller's beer, and I nickname it the Old Cockney Juice because um, obviously it is the Fuller's London Pride. Lovely jubbly. It's coming in at 4.7% ABV. There's the backside. It is one of the UK's biggest selling beers. This and Doom Bar. If I had a choice between this one and Doom Bar, this one will win hands down. Now, saying that, I've never had a decent pint of it in a pub. Every time I've had London Pride in a pub, it's been like dishwater. But I've had it in the bottle, and I've had it in the can, and I liked it in the can, and I liked it in the bottle. So, this beer, London Pride, has got a bit of a history about it. I've done a little bit of research for it. And um, it was introduced in 1959. Now the cask version is 4.1% ABV. <coughs> the bottle is 4.7% ABV. And the name <coughs> London Pride is from actually a flower. What well, used to actually grow um, in areas which has been bombed in the London Blitz. And the first thing of life in, in, in the, you know, you know, imagine in, in the Second World War, the planes were coming over, they're banging London like hell. And, you know, once, you know, all, all the rubble's down and that, there's the first shoots of life from the rubble after the war was this flower. And it had a really long scientific name, but they nicknamed this London Pride because it was the first thing what came to life in areas where, you know, what was hit by bombs. And shortly after that, 1959, Fuller's bought this baby out. And it really, it's gone from strength to strength since. It's, you know, it's, it's a massive, massive English beer. So, this beer has got three hops in. It's got Target, uh, Challenger, and North Down varieties. I think Fuller's use North Down variety of hops in a lot of their beers. I think they do it in uh, do it for the ESB. Not too sure, but I'm a big fan of Fuller's. They are a great, great brewer. And um, I think this North-South divide over this beer is purely down to, I don't know, <laughs> that thing, you know, us and them, you know. Anyway, there is the London Pride crown. It is beautiful. So we see what we get from the net. Just taking in <coughs> a bit of CO2 there. Up the nostril. And it is a slight biscuit there. With kind of like um, a hint of orange wine there. But not much. It's slight biscuity note there from the neck not much going on about it so let's pour out and she comes out beautiful golden colour there give her a swell hardly any carbonation going on lovely toffee orange toffee biscuity note there coming from that it smells really really nice really inviting um, maybe reminds me hobnob biscuits 
definitely kind of like hop, hop and hop biscuits coming from it. So let's top her up. You know, like Newcastle Brown Ale and stuff, which must be some sort of regional thing why people don't like this beer up north. But I do. So cheers. Mm. And that beer is a lot better from bottle. I think it is. First I'm getting you're getting the maltness, you're getting an orange skin, like um severe orange skin, then you're getting a, a little bit of a biscuit backbone there with a hint of caramel thrown in as well. And as you go down, the orange is getting more and more, um, more and more prevalent in the taste. It's it's coming out more. Um, there is a slight metallicness there, not much though. Um, would I recommend this beer? First off, yeah, I would. I recommend London Pride. I think, you know, it's a beer that I haven't mucked about with. They've kind of like kept true to it. The only thing they muck about with this beer a lot. Is the labels? I've noticed I change the labels of London Pride quite often. Um, saying that, there's not a Fuller's beer I don't like. I don't think. Um, I can't think of one. Um, I'll be doing Honeydew soon. I think that might be the weakest one of theirs. But um, it's a it's a great beer. It really is, and um, it's just a shame that you know. It's not universally liked by everybody and you know, you either like it or you don't. And for me, Fuller's London Pride is a great beer. So I'm going to go in for one more time. It's lovely. Orange is coming more and more through. So I'm leaving it on a great note. London Pride, if you haven't had it, give it a go. It's not as bad as what people say. Cask, mm, not too, not too sure on the cask version of it. So thanks for watching this review. Please subscribe, murder me in the comments, and I'll see you again soon. Cheers.